He was like, it's too much spit going into my mouth and I don't like that. And I'm just like, let, let you eat coochie. And that's a different fluid going in your mouth. So. <laughs> Before we get started with today's vlog, I do have a sponsor. I am working with Dossier. Again, you guys know they are no stranger to my channel. I love a good smell good at an affordable price. Dossier gives you all of the luxury fragrances at a fraction of the cost. All of their fragrances are inspired by the top name brand fragrances that are out there. So instead of you paying $200, $300, and sometimes $400 for a perfume, you can get your fragrance at Dossier from as low as $29. And of course, I do have a coupon code GINAL10 and I do have my link down below in the, in the description box. So make sure you use that when you are shopping for yourself or for your loved one this holiday season. They do have fragrances for men, women, and also unisex fragrances. As I showed you guys, my collection is pretty big. It's growing. I have my own tray for all of my dossier perfumes. Let me just show you a few of my favorite ones. So of course, everybody's favorite is Ambery Saffron. And I did write the name of each fragrance that it's inspired by on the side of each bottle. So this one is inspired by Baccarat Rouge 540. This is a unisex fragrance. I just absolutely love the way this smells and it does stay on you all day long. You can spray it on yourself in the morning and by the evening time, people are still gonna be giving you compliments on the way you smell. Next, we have Powdery Hawthorne. This is inspired by Tom Ford Metalik. This is like one of those, it's like a going out fragrance. I would say this is not really like a daytime fragrance. This is like an evening, nighttime, I'm going to a party, you're hanging out with your friends. That's what this fragrance kind of reminds me of. And lastly, they're not in any particular order, but we have Oriental Cherry. This one is inspired by Tom Ford Lost Cherry, and y'all know that that fragrance is just so popular. It's a very, very sweet fragrance, but it is considered unisex. I just love it. Oh my God, I, I absolutely love this one. So definitely check out Dossier, treat yourself, treat a loved one if you want to, save some money while you're doing it, and you're gonna be smelling rich, expensive exclusive all without breaking the bank hey besties welcome back to another day of the vlog happy vlogmas we are about halfway done with vlogmas today is the 13th y'all know vlogmas ends on christmas day so yes we are halfway through um what have i been doing this morning I had to get a lot of work done. I had to edit another video. It's Monday morning, so a ton of emails came through. Had to go through emails, um, just back and forth negotiations, cause y'all not gonna play me about my pay. Y'all just not gonna do that. Putting on some dossier floral rhubarb. This is Mark Jacobs Perfect um what next did i have to tell y'all anything y'all why was i just looking at my calendar y'all know that fendi skim stuff that i sent back it was over six hundred dollars worth of merchandise that i sent back on december the 6th today is the 13th i have not received an email there is no tracking updated no nothing i I just pray that it gets to Kim and Kim give me my damn refund. I need my $600. Like, please don't play with me. Why is the tracking not updating? I'm going to just really chalk it up to it being the holiday season. That's the only thing I could do for my peace of mind so I don't get pissed off. But the 6th and then today's the 13th. Last time I returned something to Skims, but it was regular Skims. It, um... I want to say I got an email that says your, you know, item has been successfully returned. And that was after about six or seven days. And then I would say on the eighth or ninth day, it said your refund is processed. So before I start panicking, I'm going to give it a few more days. But for the, uh, the length of tracking to say 
Nothing? No, no, not a nothing. Not saying it was scanned in, received on the truck. Nothing is just kind of like, what the fuck going on? Mm. But anyway, I got some Poshmark stuff to package really quick. And then I need to go pick the kids up from school. Come on, Peel. I didn't take my vitamin today. I've been so busy. It really looks like it wants to storm. Yesterday was beautiful. When I tell you yesterday could not have been a more perfect day. And yes, it was cold outside, but I mean, blue skies, sun was out. Like, it was like the perfect Sunday fun day type of day. And then today is overcast and gloomy. Like, welcome to Houston. I don't know why I'd be acting so surprised. I've been dealing with this my whole life. My Christmas tree still sitting in the box. Don't judge me. Let me see if any packages were delivered. Nope, no packages were delivered. Y'all know Amazon will just put your package right on your doorstep, won't ring your doorbell or nothing. It's some good Amazon uh, delivery people, but for the most part, I just have to open my front door and be like, surprise, bitch. Okay, so these are two items that sold. You get two bags. And I tell you guys, this whole pile right here, this one here, I'm gonna get it together, y'all. I, I promise you I am. I, I cannot let this pile get any longer. Oh my God. You know what? What happens is I get overwhelmed when the pile just piles up and then I'm just like, screw it. I'm sending this to the women's shelter. And they're gonna be walking around in crop jackets, Bodycon dresses, belly shirts. Let me stop. I need to stop being lazy. That, that will, that's gonna take me an entire day. This is literally an entire day of work. But once it's done, it's done. And I can make money. You guys can save some money buying this stuff heavily discounted and I can clear my space out. It's like a win-win all around. And I don't know why. And it's kind of like out of sight, out of mind. Let me set y'all. It's kind of out of sight, out of mind, just for the simple fact that um, it's upstairs and I don't come upstairs every day. <laughs> I literally come upstairs out of a seven day week. I don't know, four times maybe. Because a lot of times with the kids here, if I need them, I'm yelling, Ethan, Ash, and come down. I'm calling them on their phone, texting them like, hey, y'all need to clean y'all room. Hey, it's time for y'all to take y'all shower. Hey, y'all come downstairs and eat dinner, you know, so I don't have to always come up. And then like to wake them up in the morning, I call them and on their phones. They set alarms, but I'm that second alarm for them to be like, hey, y'all are up already? Okay, cool. So if y'all want to see, this is my label printer right here. I have to plug it up to my MacBook. And it has to be plugged in first before you can power it on or it won't connect. So now it's ready to print. And the label is printed out. It is on a sticker. So all you gotta do is put it on the package and it's ready to go. So let me do this for the other one and then get my butt up out this house. All right, we are at Starbucks for the kiddos, not me. What do you want? Uh, just a moment so we can look over the menu. Yeah, sure. Just let me know whenever you're ready. Sausage, cheddar, and egg breakfast sandwich. Do you guys have the sausage, cheddar, and egg breakfast sandwich? Okay, I'll take an impossible breakfast sandwich. And two um, tall caramel frappuccinos. And then I want, I want that, um, I can't read it. Like that one right there. Is the, the spinach better? Fine, I'll try, I'll get the turkey, bacon, cheddar, and like the egg white breakfast sandwich. And then the last thing I... Kids got their drinks and their food. I was good. I didn't get anything, even though I wanted to. But I can go home and make me a sugar-free iced shy tea full of 
for free. Told y'all we doing better decisions from here on out. If I don't have to spend money and I know I can make it at home, low calories, zero sugar, then that's what I'm doing. So, yes. Have y'all tried y'all sandwiches yet? Or is it too hot? It's so good. It's good? Mm -hmm. Mine is so good. Let me look at it. What kind is that? The the bacon? Turkey, bacon, and egg white, right? Yeah. Hers is healthy. Well, he got, Ethan, you got healthy too. It's kinda. Ethan got impossible, an impossible breakfast sandwich, which that wasn't his first choice, but that's all they had left, so. It's crazy how Starbucks just be running out of food, like. That food is good though. Yeah, it is good. And they're popular, so. I'm going through my mail and it's so crazy how like, companies just find your home address. So this was, <laughs> A box that I got in the mail and some companies sent me a social media planner. So I think that's really cute. The company is called um, Planned Creative. And you can literally just plan out your content that you're going to post day by day or week by week. Real cute. That's nice. And then I ordered a new phone case, but I had wound up finding this one that's on my phone now from Five Below. But this is the one that I got ordered from uh, AliExpress. It already has the little pop socket on the back. That's super cute. And it's like a really pretty greenish with blue undertones. And then I'm about to put these on my phone. Now, can y'all see that? Anyway, it's just diamonds that go around your um, the circles on your camera. Okay, so this is how it looks on the phone. Just gives it an extra little bling. Super cute. I think I paid maybe, I don't know, $2 for this. Y'all know AliExpress is the cheapest place to find phone accessories. You gonna wait about a good three to four weeks, possibly longer for it to come in the mail, but cheap, like super duper cheap. I got two free Chick-fil-A milkshake things in the mail. I follow like couponing people on YouTube and on Instagram. So anytime like there's something free and they're like, oh, just click this link. You fill out a survey or you gotta watch this video and they're gonna send you something free in the mail. That's what I did. I think one cute couponer is who put me on this one. All you did was go to like Chick, it's, it, it wasn't Chick-fil-A's website. It was some website associated with Chick-fil-A. And you just watch the little two minute video and then they send you, um, Free milkshake cards so i'll be using those for the kids it's the same day it's just later on and i put a wig on i don't like looking crusty all day even though i'm not going anywhere i'm about to be in the house for the rest of the night i don't like looking crusty all day long i look crusty for the majority of the day we have to do a little switcheroo okay hello I'm watching choice tv he's so messy and I love it. I'm about to light my candle. It's 6 p.m. So it's that time of day. I usually light my candles earlier in the day, but um, ooh, y'all need a wick trimmer. This kind of wick trimmer is the best kind to get. And when you clip it, it like sits in like this little part here that's like a cup. It's hard to explain. But anyway, this is the kind of wick trimmer you need. I think I probably paid maybe $10, $12 for this on Amazon. It may have been cheaper. I'll link it down below. It may it may have only been like seven, but I'll, I'll, I'll link it down below. But this is a must if you are a candle girl. Also, an electric lighter is a must as well. <laughs> who uses Who uses real lighters anymore? I'm just joking. I, I will still use a real lighter, but um, this electric lighter is just the truth. I will link this down below also. I think I probably paid about less than $10 for this. I, I want to say less than $10. Y'all know Amazon is that girl for everything cool. Everything that you need that you didn't know you needed. I need a new wig. I've been wearing this wig for like four days. I want to switch it up. I've been wearing this longer than four days. I've been wearing this for about a week. I want to do something curly. Mm. My lips are looking better. Still a little painful right here and swollen. 
Dang, that's crazy. Tomorrow makes one week and it's still tender. I'm bored in the house and I'm in the house bored. I'm bored in the house and I'm in the house bored. I'm bored in the house, bored in the house, bored in the house, bored in the house. Bored in the house. <sighs> Time to cook dinner. It's seven o'clock. I probably should have started about oh, 30 minutes ago, but it's all good. Now it's better than never. Um, so I'm doing baked chicken legs. The kids are gonna have baked chicken legs, green beans, and macaroni. Mom is gonna have baked chicken legs and zucchini. Not happy about it, but we're on a mission. And I have not been doing bad. I've, I've not been doing 100% great, but I haven't been doing bad, okay? Y'all were getting on me for buying those cinnamon bunt things. I bought those days ago and I only had one that same day. That is it. Have not opened that package back up, okay? When I want something sweet, you know what I get? One of these, one, one, one. I've already had my one for the day, so I'm not gonna get another one. Or I eat one of these, not two, one, one, okay? I'm that type of person who you cannot, I can, when I'm losing weight, I cannot deprive myself of all sweets. I can't do that. Um, or I might eat like um, two or three Starburst. Um, I might eat like, not even a handful of M&Ms, maybe like five or six M&Ms. I have to have something sweet. That's, and I think that's a lot of the reason why I like iced um, coffee and chai tea because it gives me that sweetness that my body is craving without all the sugar. So, but I'm doing good, y'all. I'm doing good. I'm gonna weigh myself probably in, I've been doing this for two weeks and I'll probably weigh myself in another two weeks. So I'm probably only gonna be weighing myself once a month. This is a journey, not a race, okay? And I've been going to the gym. I've been doing good in that aspect. <sighs> yes. Okay, let's get to cooking. Betty Crocker Hill, we're gonna call me Bonita Crocker. Bonita Crocker Hill. Let go, let's season this chicken up. Bitch, not that I was just talking to the camera for a whole long old time and I did not press record. So I was talking to myself. I'm not about to go through everything I just said again. I'm gonna give y'all a short version. The Cliff's Notes. Are Cliff's Notes still a thing? Because when I was young, Cliff's Notes were a thing. If you didn't want to read a book that your teacher assigned you to, you can go out and buy Cliff Notes or uh, check Cliff Notes out from the library and it gave you a summary of it. Is that a thing still? Well, I guess there's Google now, so. Anyway, I grew up in the area of when they came to your door, they would knock on your door and say Encyclopedia Britannica once a year. Or was it once every like three years? I can't remember. But anyway, I digress. So, as I was saying, these are seasonings that I'm using. These are by Spicy Girl, Misha's Corner. She is a YouTuber. She does a lot of easy cooking videos on her channel. She does everything from American food to Jamaican food to desserts, everything. And she was kind enough to send me these. She's so sweet. These are good. They are low sodium, black owned, lemon pepper, and then this one's called Spicy Girl. And it's not really like spicy, spicy. It just got like a little kick to it, you know, a little mm, mm. So, and you do not miss the sodium. They are that good where you don't miss the sodium. So I'm also putting garlic uh, powder in there. And then me, I always put some type of dressing on top of my chicken, whether it's like an Italian dressing. This is what I'm using today, which is a garlic basil vinaigrette. I just drizzle a little bit on top. It just gives it an extra, extra wetness. We all love little extra wetness, extra moisture extra juiciness to our food right right she done and i'm about to put her in the oven for about 40 40 minutes so while that is cooking i'm going to cut up my zucchini let them sit for a minute and then i'll probably start cooking them like mm, halfway through halfway through the chicken timer okay y'all i'm about to attempt to put this christmas tree up me and Ashton just kind of decided on a spot, which I think right here in the dining room. I was also thinking maybe in front of that mirror there. 
I just don't have like a huge like open spot and this is a nine foot tree this tree is called the mammoth look at that y'all see that pre-lit mammoth tree nine feet I just hope I made the right decision by getting a nine foot tree and not a seven and a half foot tree. The last tree that we had was six feet or six and a half feet. So I'm thinking I should probably should have got a seven and a half foot tree. Nine foot, oh God. The ceilings in the dining room aren't that high. We gonna see though, we gonna see what's up. I don't know if I'm gonna film myself taking it out the box, setting it up. I don't know if I'm gonna film all that. Everybody's filming themselves putting up their Christmas tree during Vlogmas. And I must say, that shit boring. <laughs> no offense to anybody who did it, but that shit boring. Uh, so yeah, let's get her done. We have a small intermission. Um, I had to upload a video. My computer kept freezing. I had to order the kids something online that they just needed. Um, now I have to cook my, my food. The chicken is done already and I have not cooked the side. So that's the intermission. Finally got the computer to upload. We're at 6%, so we're making progress. So yeah. Okay, so this is my plate, y'all. <clears throat> Two chicken legs, zucchini with a little bit of Parmesan sprinkled on top. This is the kid's plate. Ethan done devoured most of his already. Ashley done devoured about half of hers. Don't give me this. Don't give me this. Give me some mashed potatoes. You want mashed potatoes next time, girl? Gotcha. Arachnophobia, is that what it is? Spider, a pure spider? The back of the tree doesn't have to be perfect. Oh. Bye. Oh my. I love you. Oh my God. Mom. Wow. You found the plug. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna let you do the honors to light this big old tree up that we can't even fit an angel on top. <gasps> no. No. What the world? Hold on. We did something wrong. See, cause there's an open spot right here. Something probably needs to be plugged in there. Okay. Something, yeah, there's back to the drawing board. Got to be Daddy, get out! Later. Oh, Christmas tree. Oh, Christmas tree. How something, something, your branches. We did it, Joe. It was long and hard, and we, me and mommy were sweating. High five to Ethan off camera. Psh, high five. <laughs> High five, five to Ashton. Ashton. On camera. On camera. Psh. And high five to this mommy sweating. Pat myself on the back. Because that was a task. It really was. It really was. But I had my little helper elves. Okay, it's way past their bedtime. We're going to decorate this baby tomorrow. Oh. Ethan, don't break that. Please don't break that box. We need that. I'm not. Okay, y'all. We're done. The kids are headed off to bed. <laughs> so I just spent the last 15 minutes in my garage looking for Christmas ornaments, decorations. Not really decorations because I'm not going to decorate. Christmas is in what, uh, 10 days? And out of those 10 days, the kids are going to be with their dad probably six or seven. So anyway, um, I don't have a tree skirt. I don't have a tree skirt and I don't think I have enough ornaments for this massive ass tree. This is a tree for like someone who has a mansion. Look, I mean, it's literally touching the ceiling. I'm gonna have to buy a bow to go on the front of the tree. I mean, I guess not all trees have to have a angel on top or a ornament on top. Tree topper, that's what it's called. Not all trees have to have a tree topper. Cause y'all new age tree decorating um, people who y'all do this fancy, fancy um, ultra luxe shit. Y'all don't be having uh, classic angels and stars on top. They be having sprigs and spruits and oranges and cherries and shit coming out the tree. It looks like a damn firecracker. 
So it's pretty now. Don't get me wrong. It's pretty. I just, like I, I always told you, I'm not into the decorating like that. I'm very basic. I'm very mommy-ish. I'm going to let the kids decorate the tree. If they put eight different color ornaments on there, that's what it is. This is their holiday. This is for them. I'm not going to have a all white tree or all white and silver or pink and green, AKA egg tree, whatever. We ain't doing that. I'm letting the kids decide what they want to decorate the tree. Anyway, so enough about that. It is time for me to do a little cleaning to this kitchen. I'm not doing a very deep cleaning. My kitchen's already, if y'all can see, my kitchen is really clean already. I keep a very clean house. I, I, I actually pride myself on how clean of a house that I keep. Yes, I have housekeepers that come every three weeks, but when they come, I, I know out of all their clients, I just, I know that I'm their cleanest house. They probably walk in this house and are like, why is this lady paying us all this money to clean this clean ass house? <laughs> because I can, I want to. I like the little stuff clean, like my blinds, my baseboards, door handles. I like stuff like that clean that I'm not gonna clean. Okay. Leftovers away. Get out the meat for tomorrow. I think I'm gonna make the kids pasta tomorrow. I'm not 100% sure, but I think I am. So that's why I defrosted ground turkey meat. Okay, y'all, I'm finally. Finally about to use my Fabuloso wipes. Y'all know that I bought these Fabuloso wipes probably two months ago and I put the girls on. Even though I hadn't smelled them yet, I was like, Fabuloso smells so good itself that these Fabuloso wipes have got to smell amazing. And they do. And they're open. Who opened my damn wipes? I know it wasn't nobody but Ashton. Hold on. Why are they open? That is weird. Did y'all's Fabuloso wipes come open? The people that bought them? Because my Clorox wipes come with like a plastic film over top of them that you have to peel off. Why are these just open and exposed? Like they will dry out quick. Hold on. Child, I'm talking about Ashton didn't open it. They both uh, are opened and I can tell no one has used them. Fabuloso, hold on. I don't like that. Are they even wet? Barely, wow, they're barely wet. Wow, wow. <laughs> That's all I can say is wow. That's disappointing. But anyway, do they smell great? Yes, they do. Let me see the quality of them. Compared to a Clorox wipe, this is a Clorox wipe. Ooh, now the Clorox wipe is dripping, drenching wet. Oh, I'm gonna stick with my Clorox wipes. Oh, fabuloso. Y'all don't, this feels so terrible. And this Clorox wipe is just feels so, such a better thick material. See? Let me not put y'all on nothing until I try it again because I'm, I'm, I'm low key embarrassed. And for those of you, if you're wondering why I hadn't tried the Fabuloso wipes yet and I've had the uh, packages for two months, is because I'm one of those people, I don't like having two of the same thing open at the same time. So when I bought those, these were still in use. I had actually just opened this package up. So I'm like, why have two different kinds of wipes open at the same time? They do the same thing. That's my thinking. So now this one just finished, so that's why I'm starting on the Fabuloso, okay? So I've just been editing, watching my boy Zayme. <laughs> it's funny. I'm watching him and he was watching me. That's funny. I love when that happens. Like, I, I love that. But y'all, let me do my happy dance. I was also reading comments from my last video. And y'all let me know that I hit 170K. I hit 170K. celebrate all milestones over here we celebrate everything i'm so excited i'm about to give me a small glass of wine now y'all know i'm watching my calories and i ain't trying to consume no calories late at night it's 10 50 but 
We drink to what Drake said. We drink to our accomplishments. We drink da 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 da. Whatever. Y'all know the song. Y'all y'all know the song. Hold on. Let me let me get my phone so y'all hear the song. And the consequence drinking every night because we drink to my accomplishments. In and out of consciousness, and they said it okay. I, I had someone tell me I fell off. Oh, I needed that. accomplishments cheers thank you so much to everybody who watched me they had their certain video that they saw that they liked which made them hit that subscribe button and for those of y'all that are still here still rocking with me thank you so 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 much we are on the road to 500k i'm not even saying the road to 200k because we're gonna surpass that we're gonna hit that 200k we're gonna surpass that we're on the road to 500k on the road to half a million, whoo, half a million besties. Wow, I'm out of breath, y'all, because I'm excited. Like, I'm so like, <laughs> 170K, like I never, I never would have thought. Honestly, when I started YouTube, I never would have thought. And here we are, wow. I'm big on, on celebrating milestones, on accomplish, setting goals, accomplishing goals. And whether y'all think it's a big goal, a small goal, reward yourself. Like, ain't nobody gonna pat you on the back but you. Like, big yourself up. Don't wait on a family member to do it. Don't wait on one of your friends to do it. Don't wait on your daddy, your mama, your boyfriend, your girlfriend. Sometimes your family members are your biggest haters. So guess what? Guess what, bitch? We celebrating, I'm popping, I ain't popping a bottle cause it was already open, but I'm celebrating me. I'm, I'm proud of myself. I'm happy. I'm just, the sky is the limit. You know what I'm saying? The sky is the limit. And no matter what industry you're in, what field you're in, it's about to be 2022. Set your goals, how much money you want to make. If you're a YouTuber, how many subscribers you want to, uh, hit this year, if you wanna get your plaque this year, if you wanna get your first paid collaboration this year, you gonna do it, you gonna do it. Set your mind and baby, anything is possible. That's how I live to it. I, 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 I walk it, I talk it, and I live like it's already done. So on that note, cheers, 170K besties, roll to 500,000, we up, we up. Yes. Yes. The calories on here. How many calories was that little swig? Okay, so we're gonna open up a few items from my P.O. box. I still have items left over. So I'm gonna open about four or five packages. Okay. Then we'll save the rest for another P.O. box unboxing and then That'll be it. I'll be done with all my P.O. Box items. If you have sent me something, you haven't seen it, it will be in an upcoming vlog. Okay? Because I emptied out my P.O. Box before I closed it out. So if you sent me something, I got it. If you sent me something late, I'm sorry. I can't help you out. I've told y'all the whole month of November my P.O. Box was closing. Okay? So this company is called Bex Exclusive. Bex, B-E-X, Exclusive. Ooh, I see my favorite color, army green. Well, this is more of a forest green. Here's her information. You guys take a screenshot of that. And what did Beck exclusive send your girl? Ooh, ooh, size large. <gasps> okay, so she sent me a two-piece legging sweater set. This is so cute. Look at the wrap top. Look at that. I know it might look small, but it's a size large and it stretches because it's ribbed. Look, this is the sleeve. Look at that. All ribbed stuff stretches a lot. Y'all, this is a thick, nice sweater material. Ooh, I could be warm and a hoochie in the wintertime. Thank you, Beck Exclusive. You guys shop with her. Once again, make sure you take a screenshot of that so you guys can see what she has to offer. And if you want to be twinsies, then order this. The next company is Kissimmee Lip Gloss. Okay, here is the shopping information. You guys take a screenshot of that. 
the semi lip gloss by sierra c so this is how her packaging looks real pretty so let's see what she sent me all right so she sent me two lip glosses this is a sparkly one that can be used as a gloss or a lip topper. Then she sent me this pretty pink color. And she also sent me a lip liner. Let me, let me try out this sparkly one. I'm going to try it out on my hand. Just because y'all know I was going through something with my lips. Try it out on my hand. That is a pretty gloss. It has sparkles in it, but it's not too much. And then let me try the pink over top of it. Ooh, that's real pigmented. Wow. Yeah, that's real nice. All right, y'all. Y'all check out Kissimmee Gloss. These colors look really pretty. Smells good, too. Okay, next package is the R3 Collection. Okay, so the R3 Collection is hair growth oil. If you're trying to get stubborn areas to grow, want longer, fuller, and all around healthier hair, all of our products were created for you. Promotes hair growth in stubborn areas, moisturizes dry hair, strengthening hair, prevents breakage and split ends, and preventing and treating dandruff. Here's her information. Take a screenshot of that. And this is her hair growth oil. I love this bottle. Look at that. You see the girl with the fro? It looks really nice like this looks like a bottle that i would see at the beauty supply store it's dry it wasn't leaking when i got the package i've received some stuff that you know it has it's leaked all over the package and this isn't like that this is real good quality material let me smell it let me do a smell test mm, it smells good i smell eucalyptus or maybe it's mint i smell one of those i'm not really sure Okay, so the ingredients are very simple. It's sunflower oil, aloe vera, jojoba oil or jojoba oil, castor oil, mint oil. Okay, so it was mint, that's, that's what I was smelling. Botanical blend and lavender oil. So all natural products to promote hair growth. You guys check her out. Okay, next we have Wix by E, which looks like a candle company. Y'all know I love me some candles. She sent me a sweet little card. Aw. She said, if your subscribers would like to purchase any of our candles, they can use code HOLIDAY20 to receive 20% off plus free shipping. HOLIDAY20. Save you some coin, okay? This is her information to contact her and to shop. Take a screenshot of that. And she sent me three candles. Wow. Okay, this is how her candles look. A little bit of wax got on here. That's okay. That's how her candles look. And honestly, that's probably for me because a lot of stuff I've just had sitting in my corner for a while now, okay? Oh, this smells so good. Okay, this one's called Wine Down. It's a wood wick candle. It's a nice size. Oh, this smells so good. The next one is called Vanilla. Vanilla. So I'm guessing maybe banana and vanilla mix, maybe. It smells good. That's how that one looks. They all, I'm guessing, are gonna look look the same. And then lastly, this one is called Juicy Fruit. And all the candles are 100 percent coconut soy. Mmm. Ooh. This one's probably my favorite. This one's like really sweet and fruity and tropical. Oh wow. Mmm, wine down smells like a really, really pretty perfume. So you guys check her out. Get you a candle, a wood wick candle, an all natural candle, and they smell so good. Oh, and she sent me a box of matches with her name on there. That's cute. Okay, so the last small business is Beauty Beats. Here is the information. Take a screenshot of that. And Beauty Beats sent me body butter, not butter, butter. Literally, it says body butter. <laughs> so she sent me three body butters. Um, what are these? It says for your hands and body, vegan and petroleum free, made with natural oils and butters. Ah, okay. 
So this first one is called Escape Island. Okay, so that cut off. My battery died. I don't know if y'all could even tell or not. But anyway, um, I was showing y'all Escape Island. Oh, it smells really, really, really good. Oh, do y'all see how moisturizing this is? Look at that. But not too sticky. But it's not sticky. It's not like too heavy. Oh, it smells so good. I'm okay, next one is Tropical Island. Oh my God. Okay, Tropical Island is my favorite. Oh, this smells like cherry almond. <gasps> is this supposed to be cherry almond? Oh. Next we have Coconut Island. Mmm. Oh, thank you so much. Y'all check out Beauty Beats. Get your body butter. I just wish uh, the camera had like smell a vision so you guys can smell. And look how moisturized my arm is. Mmm. All right, you guys, check out these small businesses, support them, shop with them. If I put any coupon codes out with their business cards, use those coupon codes and shop, save you some coin and get you some new goodies for the holidays. Watching Glamazante. I'm about to get in the shower. I know y'all can hear that water in the background. It's been running for about a good 15 minutes. I'm about to take me a shower. I'm about to take some sleeping pills because I want to fall asleep quick. I'm sleepy, but I know the way I feel right now, I will probably lay in bed in the dark and be scrolling my phone. So after my shower, I would like to fall asleep rather quickly. The, uh, the dose is supposed to be two, but your girl is a big body bends. I'm 200 plus pounds. Uh, two sleeping pills is probably for average body weight. Somebody who is, I don't know, 150 pounds, 160 pounds. I'm more than that. So three down the hatchet. They actually help. Like I, when I take these uh, sleeping pills, I don't wake up at all. Cause sometimes I'll be waking up in the middle of the night to go pee. Um, I'm a light sleeper. So if like the house is like settling, I'll, I'll hear that and wake up or anything. My ringer will be off and I'll, I'll hear my vibe, the vibe, the phone vibrate and it'll wake me up. But anyway, so this is just Target brand, um, nighttime sleep aid. It, it helps. Like it really, really helps for you to have like a full night's rest. So yeah, so after I take my shower, I should be going to sleep and probably like the next, 30 minutes hopefully 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 i want to put a lot this load of laundry in i got dirty clothes on the ground and i want to wash but i don't like having the washing machine or dryer go when i'm sleeping or when i leave the house it's just it's just a weird thing with me y'all like i be scared the house is gonna burn down it's gonna be some electrical type thing happen when i'm asleep i'm gonna open my door and it's gonna be nothing but flames when i open my door Call me crazy, but that's just how I am. I have to unplug everything. That's why y'all see, I don't have any appliances on my countertops, none, zero. After I use the toaster, I unplug it and I put it in the cabinet. After I use my air fryer, I unplug it and put it in the cabinet. After I use a curling iron, I always unplug it. I never leave, I don't leave stuff plugged in. My, <laughs> my air diffuser right here, y'all see it? Unplugged. I don't know. I'm weird. But you know what? I leave my that lamp right here. I leave that plugged up because I use that as a nightlight sometimes. So that does stay plugged up. But um, like my Christmas tree. Oh, I wouldn't dare. Oh, y'all can't really even see it. But I wouldn't dare leave my Christmas tree plugged up when I'm asleep. Oh, no, ma'am. I'd wake up in terror out of my sleep if I forgot. Am I alone in this? Does anybody else think that leaving stuff plugged in will cause your house to burn down? But yet, other stuff don't scare me. Like, I don't know. <laughs> I'm a weirdo. Let me let me jump in the shower and brush my damn teeth. Okay, I just got out the shower. Feeling good, feeling great, feeling great, feeling good. I'm using um, 
my homegirl's body butter line, Ming for King. Um, that's her name here on, is it Life of Ming? Anyways, it's Ming for King on Instagram. And then here on YouTube, it's The Bells Plus Two. She has a family channel. She makes body butters and they smell so good. So, so, so good. Support your friend's businesses, y'all. I paid for this with my own cash. I did, I did. She may not be making them right now because she's pregnant. I know she's like going through it because she's like real, real sick. She said that this has been a, a hard pregnancy for her. But uh, anyway, so yeah, I'm using her body. Ooh, glistening. Y'all see the glisten. It wasn't like that at first. Glistening. <laughs> Ooh. Um, yeah. So if y'all were wondering on an update about the um, gala and the guy and all that, if he called me the next day, if we talked, the answer is no. I unfollowed him. Well, I blocked him on Instagram and I never had his phone number saved in my phone. Um, I'm weird like that. Let me not call myself weird. Maybe I'm not weird. I just, I don't save numbers in my phone. Um, I just, I just always know who it is. I only save your number in my phone when you're like somebody like important. And I'm talking about men's numbers, not even women's like a home girl. All those numbers are saved in my phone, but like men who I meet, I don't save their numbers in my phone. No, you gotta be like my dude. Like we really fucking around. That's the only way I'm gonna save your number in my phone. So anyway, um, no, he did not call me. Did he go with another woman? The answer is yes. Because before I blocked him, I did see his Instagram story from, from that night. <laughs> and he was with the woman that he had went on a date with, uh, what was that, like two nights prior. Remember I told y'all the, the night that I met him, we exchanged Instagrams and that next day I saw he had took a woman on a date. And then I had wound up seeing another woman on a date with him on his Instagram like three or four days after that. And this is that same girl. Yeah, I'm like, if you already had a, a girl, a boo, somebody you were like majorly pursuing, like, you know, sir, why you, why you in my ear? Why? I'm talking about I can't wait to get to know you, this and that. Anyway, that's not none of my concern. I don't need to know why, uh, why not, whatever. Because, uh... It doesn't need any more of my energy. I was just really just updating y'all because I know I'm going to be asked in the comments. So whatever happened, what happened, what happened? So nothing happened. Nothing at all. So that's that. Y'all, I'm going to bed oiled up. I saw a post yesterday and I actually reposted it on Instagram. It said... Being in, a rela being in a relationship with no affection feels like being in jail. And I reposted and I said I was in a relationship like that one time and never again. I am a very affectionate person. Like, I love holding hands. I love random kisses. I love foreplay. I love after the foreplay and after the going to pound town, laying on, I laying on the, my, my boo's chest. Like... I love a man that's just gonna like grab me and hold me, pull him towards him, slap my ass randomly when I walk past him. Just, I love all that. Like, I love affection. I just love, I love kissing, holding, cuddling, holding hands. Like, I love all that. And I was in a relationship one time where I did not get that. And I used to always just tell him like, can we just hold hands? Can we just kiss? Like, he did not like to kiss. He said kissing, he didn't like the swapping spit. He was like, it's too much spit going into my mouth and I don't like that. And I'm just like, but let, yet you eat coochie, you know? And that's a different fluid going in your mouth. So then with the holding hands, he didn't like holding hands. He would always say, my mom wasn't affectionate to me growing up. My mom didn't hug. She didn't kiss us. She didn't, you know, hold our hands and coddle us and... He was like, it's my mom's fault that I'm this way. I'm like, you're a grown, super grown ass man. Like you can't use that as an excuse. And he said that he was like, this isn't the first relationship where I've been told this. He was like, I've been told this in past relationships. He was like, I just can't do it. He was like, it's awkward to me. It feels weird. He was like, holding hands feels weird. Cuddling feels weird. I don't, he didn't like foreplay. He didn't like anything. Like it was the, I, it was the craziest thing y'all. 
the craziest thing. The only time I could cuddle with him is if I was the big spoon. And if y'all know what spooning is, y'all know, y'all know how a woman lays on her side and a man lays behind her and like hugs her from behind and they go to sleep like that. That's how it is most of the time. The woman is the little spoon. The man is the big spoon because he's behind. He always wanted me to be the big spoon. And I'm like, nigga, like what? Like, are you, what? Okay. I can back out a little bit now. I felt weird. Um, but yeah, it was just, I'm just a real affectionate person and having someone who wasn't affectionate was just the, the sexual chemistry was just so off. Like we got along really, really well, but having that type of chemistry is just, is so important and being opposites, like me being such an affectionate person, always wanting to rub your back, lay on you, kiss you, hold your hand. And you know, I want you to like rub on my put your hand in like my back pocket while we're out in public. Like, you know, just little stuff like that. And, and to have a man literally refuse and our whole relationship, I'm like, that's what I want. Like, this is the only thing I'm asking for. Like, this is it. Like, I'm not, I don't ask for much, but I'm actually asking you to try to show some type of affection and nope, wouldn't do it. Wouldn't do it. Wasn't mean about it or nothing. He was just like, I, it just feels weird to me and I don't like it. I just, I don't like it. But anyway, I don't know why I brought that up. Um, I guess because we were talking about old buddy and then um, I had just seen that post uh, yesterday and reposted it. And, he's, and he follows my Instagram. So he I don't know if he saw it, maybe, and he knew it was him, probably. I don't know. But um, yeah, I need a man to match that energy with me. And I have really only came across one other guy who, maybe two who match my like affectionate nature who were like just as lovey dovey and cuddly and want to just kiss all the time and we don't even have to have sex we could just lay in the bed just hold each other and kiss like I don't know but yeah to have a man with no zero zero because I've dated men where I'm like our relationship was good and they you know had they weren't as affectionate as me, but they were still affectionate men. They still loved foreplay. They still liked kissing. They may not want to hold my hand while we're in the car together, but they did the other stuff, you know? So I don't know. I'm just real big on you need to match. You need to like like-minded minds, like-minded um personalities, emotions, and oh, and don't get me started on that dude. His emotional uh state, like couldn't refuse to show emotion. If I showed any type of emotion, he would always say it made me, it made him feel uncomfortable. <sighs> he, he hated when I cried. He was like, I don't know what to say to you when you're crying. I'm like, you don't have to say anything. Hug me, hold me and pat my back and say, it's going to be okay. It's simple. Like what? Anyways, so I'm done lotioning my body. I just wanted to have a little chit chat with you guys while I grease myself down. Um, I'm about to go to sleep. It's 1 a.m. I gotta be up in just a few hours. I gotta be up at seven, so I love you guys. Someone said that I'm not saying goodbye on my uh, Vlogmas vlogs. I usually say goodbye because I don't know if it's gonna be a one day vlog, a two day vlog. I don't know how they, they gonna go when I release them. So just I'm just going day by day. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and say bye. This is the end of today's vlog. I will catch you guys tomorrow. Good night.